Let me see what we got in here. My name is Patrick Robinson, a.k.a. Pat the Rock. I'm a street basketball player straight out of Prince Frederick, Maryland. Basketball was invented in Springfield, Massachusetts. I got some of the craziest moves you've ever seen in basketball. I pat the rock. That's what I do. I think I started playing basketball when I was like five. You know every kid that plays basketball, their ultimate goal is to make it to the NBA. That's always been my dream. I would practice a lot, you know, like sun up to sun down. I was always the first one to arrive at the the last one to leave the court. Remember me and my older brother Reggie, we play one-on-one -on -one in the backyard, you know. He would always beat me because he was bigger than I was, you know. Well, my high school career, I was always the smallest kid at the end of the bench. High school, I think I was like 5'8", 150 pounds. You know, I had, I had heart and a never give up attitude. My mother was definitely my inspiration, you know, growing up. You know, at the age of 23, she was a single parent raising two boys, you know. I'm 23 right now, I can only imagine what it's like to have two kids. You know, it's always my dream to make it to the NBA so I could uh, create a better life for her and the rest of my family. I remember one day, I was dribbling the board doing some tricks and stuff, and this old guy came up to me. He asked me, he was like, son, you play basketball? I was like, yeah. You know, he said, remember, whatever you do in life, anything is possible. Basically, I've been living by this model all my life, and it's got me to the point where I am right now. Well, I ended up going to college, but not on a basketball scholarship. University of Cincinnati. Everywhere I went, I always had the ball with me. I would take it everywhere. To class, the cafeteria, the library. Even at the parties, I had the ball with me. People would laugh at me, but I knew one day in the long run, it would pay off. I had to walk on for the team my freshman and sophomore year. I got cut twice. After my sophomore year, I dropped out of college. I was ready to give up on my dream of basketball. I remember what that old guy had told me. Anything's possible. Been on my game like eight hours a day, just dribbling and shooting thousands of shots. One day I got a phone call from the world famous Harlem Globetrotters. They invited me out to Phoenix to their training camp to try out for their team. Felt like I had a good shot of making a team. About three or four days into the tryout, early one morning, the coach knocked on my door. He says, I'm sorry, you've been cut from the team. I had to pack my bags, my flight left in two hours. Flight home, I basically was ready to give up again. You know, I said, maybe this basketball thing isn't gonna work for me. Maybe I gotta go get a regular nine to five job. I was basically ready to quit. But then I remember that AIP, anything is possible. I had that I will not lose mentality. So when I got home, instead of working on my game eight hours a day, it came uh, 10 hours a day. You know, I was just dribbling, shooting. I began dunking, I grew, and I began getting phone calls from. Every oh, I've had the chance to go all over the U.S. You know, as a matter of fact, all over the world. You know, I've been to the Bahamas, Dominican Republic, South America, China, Indonesia. I've been to Africa four times. All because, you know, I never gave up on that dream of basketball. I just take me all over the world. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm in the gym 24-7, training, lifting weights, getting shots up, dribbling. I also had a chance to play with the M1 Mixtape Tour. And I was in the contest to earn a contract to play with them. And I got cut like two or three years in a row. You know, I felt like I was one of the best ballers out there, but you know, I just never got my chance to shine. But I never gave up. You know, this past summer, I won a $100,000 contract for the ball for real tour. So, you know, all because I had that mentality, I would not lose, I would not give up. You know, I finally, it finally paid off, and you know what I mean? It's a blessing that I had an opportunity to finally win. Pat the Rock, I will not lose.